fashion some hot baby. <gasps> no. No. <gasps> oh my gosh. Ah! This episode. Oh my gosh. It's too much. Hi, my little peaches. Welcome back to another video. It's a beautiful sunny day in Angleterre. Which is maybe England and French. I don't even know where I came from. It's also a beautiful sunny day in Brindleton Bay as well. So we kind of got a bit of cross world pollination. That is not what that word means. But both worlds are looking very similar right now. I had to hit a pause as soon as I got into this house. Because I was like, what is happening right now? I got home and there's love hearts in. None other than Ash's bed. Ash, who, oh wow, we did not agree to this dress. No wonder you're looking so sad because this dress is not what the plan was. What even are those roses? Like, you look like a cake. You look like a cake lady. And also, you're all the way down here as well. That is pretty perfect because the person who decided to do the dirty in her mom's bed is none other. Okay, we're doing that. We are literally doing that. Okay. It's none other than Celia and, of course, her boyfriend, Dylan. So, yeah, that happened. That whole thing happened. And I got back to the house. The wedding party is, like, hanging out here in the hallway. And those two were in that room doing that. Other chaotic things happening because that is just the way we roll. I'm probably going to pee in a bush because I don't seem to be able to make my way home in time. But we are in trimester three of our pregnancy. So we're going to give birth any moment now. Honestly, if she walks into that room and sees Celia and her boyfriend doing woo-woos in her bed, if that doesn't send her into labor, I don't know what will. So yeah, we're starting things off with a lot of drama and a lot of chaos. So if you guys are still enjoying... Yeah, okay, she didn't make it. We knew that was going to happen. It's a pregnant bladder. The baby's on the bladder. The baby's kicking. It's all just going a bit wrong. Honestly, I didn't think the dress could get any worse, but you've managed it, Ash, so fair play to you. But if you guys are still enjoying this series, please go ahead and give it a big cheeky thumbs up. Let me know what you guys are expecting from this bubble root in the comments below. I have been umming and ahhing so much over what we do with the next air, and I'm kind of thinking, I don't know if I want to do like another five, six, seven episodes with Ash, which I think we'd have to do if we went with this baby being the air. So I think think it makes the most sense for us to have Leela as the heir instead. Leela, who is, oh, you siblings argue so much. You literally all argue so much. You're such siblings. In fact, you and Brinson don't have the best relationship. Please try to improve that because like, you know, you are siblings. Oh, no, just teasing the life out of each other. Literally such sibling energy. This was me and my brother up until we were in our 20s, to be honest. So doesn't really surprise me that much. But yeah, I want to start focusing a little bit more on Leela. And if we are to do that, I need to go ahead and nip into the rules for this challenge so I can make sure I'm doing everything we need to do for Generation 5, which is plug. Good at anything we've tried, how to choose a career, starts as a doctor, then goes to a dancer, but wants to become a dancer, sorry, and joins the entertainment career. So genius, non-committal, dance machine, renaissance sim. Right, okay, so this is something you guys pointed out in the comments, and I'm so, so glad you guys did, because otherwise I would totally have missed this. We need to start in the fast food career before we move on to being a doctor and then move into being an entertainer. So also master the dance skill, two of the skills that you're choosing in level eight and six other skills. This is going to be so freaking hard. We also need to get divorced and remarry the same sim later in life. So I'm thinking a young marriage that breaks apart because we changed too much. But then as we got older, we realized we changed all the same ways. That's the kind of story I'm going with it. But the thing I need to do ASAP is one, start building skills and two, get on this fast food career, which is perfect because your siblings both have jobs. So I feel like you should go ahead and find yourself a job as well. Also, something that the siblings do need to do, stop teasing the life out of each other, seriously. I feel like we need to get the siblings a little bit more of a grown-up job as well. And I don't know why, but I always kind of got Dr. Energy from Brenton. He just kind of gave me that vibe. And so maybe Leela ends up, you know, because her and Brenton seem, they tease each other. There's a lot of competition there. Maybe she becomes a doctor because Brenton is, and she's like, anything Brenton can do, I can do, I can do, I can do. I can do. And he's like, no, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Okay, sorry. So yeah, I'm kind of thinking if he starts off as a doctor, he starts going into this medical intern career, then maybe that is the reason that Leela ends up going into it. But she's not doing it because she actually wants to be a doctor. And I feel like if you are going into medicine, you've got to want to be a doctor because it's not the kind of career you can stick in unless you really enjoy it. So unless you love it, you're not going to stick at it, which could make sense as to why she goes to the dancer career later in life. And then Celia, Celia, Celia. I don't don't really know what kind of vibes I get from her. We know that she's very clean. She's very neat, sorry. I honestly don't know. Maybe culinary? 
Maybe she keeps a tidy kitchen, you know? I might have to have a think with Celia because I don't really know what she's giving me the vibe for. She got promoted to manager pretty quickly at her job in the fast food career. Maybe it is something like she goes into management, into business. I didn't really foresee that, but neat, organized mind, good communication skills, good management skills could work very well for business. And what are all these strange noises I can hear? What is going on? Are we actually being haunted by a ghost right now in the middle of the daytime? Oh yeah, there is the ghost of... Who are you? Why are you getting hearts with some? Why is there a ghost even here? Lucia Shino Miller. Okay, thankfully there's no romance. I've started to notice ghosties just coming here and I don't like it. I'm gonna go ahead and get that ghostie away right now. And who's doing a stand-up gig? One of the mini Shino Millers, which is of course Vernon's family. Do we have a future Celia baby as well? I guess time will tell on that one. Celia, what career do you want to go into? You like the idea of doing research. Could you be another scientist? You also like the idea of doing instruments though. You did enjoy playing the violin as a kid, but you kind of lost that somewhere along the way. You do have the music lover trait though. Then you're also a mastermind. Strategic thinking. Hmm. I really don't know what to do with Cecilia. She doesn't have to settle into a job straight away. She can keep her part time. She's in customer support. She can keep that up for now and maybe you guys in the comments can actually decide what career Celia goes into. But let's go ahead and add Leela to this fast food career branch. So she's got to head and join that. If you guys are teasing each other again, I swear to God. What is wrong with you guys? They're getting worse and worse. Please stop this. Please stop this. I think you might end up getting hurt. Like the hurt memory system. And I really don't want that. You guys are siblings. Please try and make it up. He's in a foul old mood, honestly. This does seem to be taking sibling rivalry to the next level. We know that Brenson does kind of struggle with his emotions. We did have therapy for him for a while. I think we're gonna have to continue therapy again in today's episode two. I kind of like the idea that maybe we do a bit, a lot of therapy with Brenson and he ends up enjoying it so much that his specific like medical route that he takes is less like surgeon or like GP and he actually goes into being like a psychiatrist because his psychiatrist helped him so much. That could be a really nice route to take it. But if you want that to happen, you are gonna have to really work on make this relationship work and start taking your mental health quite seriously. So I'm gonna go ahead and this is with the slice of life. I can go ahead and get another therapist appointment. I wish I could send him to them because the therapist wasn't that great last time, but we'll go ahead and give it a go. Plus they're expensive, $180 a time. Okay, Miss Landgrab is gonna be speaking to us today. I'm sorry to hear that you aren't feeling well, but I'm proud of you for reaching out. You convince me whenever you feel like you are ready. That's really nice. And please just give your brother some space, Leela, for a while. And then I'm kind of thinking of starting like dance vibes with her or maybe enrolling her in theater after school activity. That feels like a good idea. Although, will that cancel her like current after school job? I don't want that to happen. Do they count as the same thing? I feel like they do. Oh, I could send her to a skill class though. <gasps> this could be a good way to get her skills up. Okay, love that. And checking in on Ash. We've changed out the wedding dress, mainly because we've been in it. Let's not lie to ourselves. And here are all the skill classes. It's like candle making, nectar making, pick, picking, what? Fitness, woohoo! Acting, archaeology, baking, charisma, comedian, DJ mixing. Is there a dance class? Because I feel like I should really enjoy that. Dancing! <gasps> I can send her to dance class. Oh, that's so cool. Go ahead and head to a bit of dance class. Does she just go to it now? <gasps> Love that. Okay, everyone's peacing out from the wedding. Goodbye, Trace. Goodbye, Dylan. Oh, and Ashley. Hope you've not um, impregnated my daughter, Dylan. And yeah, maybe we can send Leela to weekly dance classes. Like she'll start a club with her friendos, but she'll also have this like dance club that she goes to as well. And this is who you're meant to be vent into. Why don't we try talking about our feelings? Okay, I'm still finding it really hard to find a therapist that can actually work with Brenton. He is furious, like literally so mad and he wants to get into fight. We'll try another therapist tomorrow, I think, because he's even trying to pay her off just to make her like, <gasps> oh my gosh, what? Fighting off a thief. He yeah, gave her $100 yeah, and then yeah, she tried to steal the rest yeah. of his money. What is with the therapist in Brindleson Bay? They're so bad. No wonder Brenton wants to be one just so he can try and actually be the only decent therapist in the whole of the sim world. Because this is just crazy. Why are they so terrible? You need to leave, Haley. Get out of our house right now. Wait. 
And you're here too? Another therapist has just showed up. Was that woman even a therapist? Was that woman just a thief pretending to be a therapist? Oh my gosh, you hate this one as well though. Okay, why don't you try and calm down in front of the mirror before we start speaking to the therapist? And everyone, why don't we give Brandon a little bit of space? Because he's in a really bad mood. And we may have had like nice wedding vibes today, but I'm gonna go ahead and get some early nights because it's back to work tomorrow. And why are you in such a bad mood as well? I'm feeling angry. It's all their fault. They made me this way. Okay, a bit worrying, but why don't you go ahead to bed as well? And he hates this therapist too. Ooh, and also Leela came back from her dance class wearing a sheet mask. Taste of higher learning. Did it actually improve your skill? Reach dancing level three. It did. Okay, that's awesome. I mean, it's a big like money sink if you want to build your skills up this way, but... It could help. Particularly as we need to get a lot of skills up for Leela. And I think after seeing how horrific that fake therapist was, Brennan's actually starting to appreciate how good a good therapist is. Because look, therapeutic chat, a chat with professionals really helps shift your sim's emotional state. So this is good. And he's like, I can't believe you got into a fight, Brendan. This is not what we talked about. Are you hurt, Brendan? That fight sounded bad. <gasps> Okay, I feel like this guy might not be as bad as we originally thought. I mean, he is related to Ashley, who's evil. But, you know, he actually likes this guy more now. He's feeling good. Okay. Don't love that you're gonna go to your first day at work with a black eye. But at least you're feeling a little bit better in your own headspace, which is what we appreciate. And little Saj Sam sneaking up for his uh, nightly little cake. Oh my gosh, look how he eats as well. I think it's because he's a glutton sim. But I swear he wakes up and finds a slice of cake every single night. Night. We have donuts in our fridge right now and honestly, I'm very close to doing the same because I can't stop thinking about the donuts in the fridge. You're also a little bit stinky. Why are you having yourself a nice little enjoy a little mud bath for yourself? Treat yourself, Saj Sam, okay? Wait, I don't want to see you looking sad another day in your life. Oh, well, that didn't last long, did it? What are you afraid? Oh, you're afraid of thunderstorms. Of course you are. Of course you are. And he's on a nighttime cleaning frenzy. That's fair. That is fair. And oh my gosh, I am now Sajash because I'm feeling sad that I'm going to be a terrible parent and my child will hate me. Where is the child? I thought it might be born by now. Since you're up in the night, I am going to get you working on the skills such as singing. Why don't you go ahead and have yourself a little practice? In fact, I might send you to a singing skill class if I'm being honest. And I'm finding that singing seems to be going up so slowly like it's the one skill that's taking me ages to get up like parenting i'm not too worried about because there's another baby on the way but singing is just so slow <gasps> Oh, and what's this? Hips the Marks cardboard dance floor? How did she get this? Where did you get that from? Oh my gosh, so you can like <gasps> have dance battles and show off your moves. Oh, show us some of your moves you've got so far. Let's see how you're doing. You're good. You've got natural like, I don't know. I feel like she's got good flexibility, good rhythm. Oh, I feel like this is the first time we've seen her do like moves. I feel like she's good. She was a good old Jimmy leg, whatever that is. I've always wanted to learn The Sims dances, but I don't think I can move like that, to be honest. She's good already. She's not messing up. This is great. Oh, careful your little back in though. Back injuries, once you get them, that's it. You snook it for life. So just look after your back, okay? And geez, we are a family of early risers. 4 a.m. in the morning, really? Oh, and one thing I'm gonna do is now that Sam is married, I don't think I can adopt the other two as care dependents. I think they're a little bit old. Yeah, I can't adopt them as care dependents, but I've adopted Leela as a care dependent. <gasps> And we've gone into labor. We've gone into labor. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna do a hot save because I want to have this baby in hospital, but it just hasn't been working for me for a while. It just bugs out. So I'm gonna save now. And then I'm gonna attempt to have the baby in hospital. Let's just see what happens. We also have a baby's room upstairs because Saj Sam, we're married. He can sleep down here now. Although I didn't do that last night. I'm pretty sure I sent him to bed. Oops. Okay, let's go ahead and try and have this baby at the hospital. Please cross your fingers, cross your toes. Let's see if we can make this happen. I already feel like it's gonna be a no, but we shall give it a go. And obviously we shall bring Saj Sam with us. Yeah, I can't have babies in hospitals anymore. I really don't know what bug causes this, but it just doesn't work. I can't have babies in hospitals. So due to personal reasons, we've decided to have the baby at home and Saj Sam's room is going to be a re, wow, it's still quite, it's quite teeny tiny. It's fine. We are gonna be turning this into a child's room, a baby's room. Although honestly, I think 
think future child's room. Oh, your water's broke. Yep. I think there's a lot to be said for having the bassinet actually in the same room as the parents, just because it's easier. I also want to try out this big new crib because I've not probably used it yet. So this is the Sweet Dreams nursery, which immediately wants me make me go like, Sweet dreams are made of these. I don't even know what this child is yet, but I'm going to go for yellow. Can they still get in there? I hope so. A baby quilt. Oh, I think I put the baby in the quilt. Oh my gosh. I don't know if this is going to work or not, but if it does, it will be really cute. So we should try. Here is our baby bed. I generally don't think this is going to work, but I'm going to try it anyway. Like, where do you put the baby? Like, how does... I can only view. How does this work? How how do I put the baby in? <gasps> There's like a whole curtain as well. How do I get the child in there? I need to get the child out and then in. Out and then in. How do I do it? Oh my gosh, and there's a changing table as well. Oh. Okay, I might just put a regular bassinet to get the kid out. And then kids are objects, so I should be able to just move it around after that. So let's just go ahead and have this child. Probably not a bad thing to have the baby at home, actually, when you are part alien. Will this one have the ears? I don't know. The last one was Vernon and Ash Baby. This one is a Saj Sam and Ash Baby. So will it have the ears? I do not know. I also don't plan on keeping a baby for that long because let's face it, babies suck. So, oh geez. I mean, it's it's even a long labor in game. <gasps> and it's a boy. Okay, okay. You guys came up with a bunch of suggestions on like the Discord, I think it was, for potential baby names. There was a long list of them in there. And one of them on there was Surin. And Surin is of Persian origin. And it means lilac or light purple. So still kind of fits the challenge, right? And please be just one because I've only got one crib. I mean, technically I have two, but you know what I mean. One baby. Ash and Sam had a baby. Yes, there it is. Baby in a row. Okay, let me see if I can grab it. No. How about just the baby? Oh, no. I don't think I can, like, manually move the baby around anymore like I used to be able to. I mean, what happens? Oh, gosh, no. Can I, like, just put it in there? It's... Oh, what? Wait a minute. What about if I shrink this? Oh, my gosh. The baby... Where's the baby? <gasps> the baby's really tiny. Okay, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, I'm just gonna put the baby, like, in here and see if they can still access it. Because look how cute it looks with his little little blankie on it and its little pillow on its head. Okay, can you still get to that? This is just not going to work, is it? Of all the things that are not going to work, this is not going to work. <gasps> it freaking worked. And Brenton actually has a sibling that he likes. Maybe he just wanted a brother this whole time. <gasps> You're there changing this child for me? Oh, okay. I'm going to just leave you guys to it. I'm going to just leave you guys to it. And they're all waiting to meet little baby. Oh, and Leela's wearing makeup. What? You've put on some makeup? Oh my gosh, you actually have. You've got eye flicks on and everything. Because I don't put makeup on like young teens. But she's there out wearing her eye flicks. Okay. Okay. You're growing up kind of fast. But okay. Oh no. You're like almost halfway through teenhood already. Fair enough. And okay, these two not so bothered for meeting the baby. Instead, having themselves a little dance-off. Such Sam, do you at least want to meet your baby? Oh, the baby's sleeping. Okay, fair enough. But there we go. Surin is born. And he's all wrapped up in his little blankies. Honestly, that is so cute. That is just so cute. I love this. I know the, rig the arrangement's ridiculous. But I like that it's like in a little blanky like that. I think that's really cute. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And well done. You've had your little bubbleroo. Why don't you now sing it some lullabies? Because I kind of need you to keep working on this singing skill, okay? It's lullabies for the child. You're on level eight. You're doing okay. You're doing okay. Oh, and what, what's this noise? <gasps> no. 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 Don't do this. Oh my gosh. What? What? <laughs> We've literally just had a baby. We've just given birth and you've just died from laughter. And why are you just dancing on his corpse, Leela? Okay, wow. I don't think I've ever seen anyone less bothered by death. Oh, it's because I turned off reactions to death. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What? He's just died from... He's hysterical. Family fun. New baby. The house was so clean. Maybe such some had to be sad. Because if he wasn't sad, he would die of laughter. Maybe this way he was sad the whole time. It was a protection thing. Oh my gosh. I'm going to go plead for such some please don't do this you can't kill two of my husbands oh <gasps> it worked no way you are my hero i promise i won't forget that i owe my life to your heroic actions this episode oh my gosh it's too much it's too freaking much sam has been brought back to life ashes in passion pleas to the grim reaper have worked i mean have they are we sure that they have oh <gasps> 
Well, I need to turn on reactions to death again because this is kind of ridiculous. He's just sat there reading a book, but such some has returned to life face mask and all. Okay, and I'm thinking we need to keep this boy reasonably sad or else he dies. You need to calm yourself down. Please, can you calm down in this mirror? I can't actually believe that he just died. Betrayed by cheating? Oh, that's because he flirted with a ghost. And close after close call. Sam almost dying has really endeared him to Ash. That was a close call. And all by life-saving hero and he's like you are so attractive right now i can't actually believe that just happened right as i gave birth that was what pushed Sad Sam over the edge. I need to go and make this boy sad again because he can't be trusted with happiness. It's too much for him. Wow, 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 wow. I just, no. Please, please let's never have that happen again. No more hysterical deaths, if that's okay. Is his life now shorter because of that or will he have a full normal life? I don't know. I'm nervous though. I am nervous. He's now feeling fearless. Probably because you beat death. Like literally because you beat death. You almost died on the same day that your son was born. Ah, jeez. Okay. Well done, Ash. Well done, Ash, for saving him. Grim, I would rather you didn't stick around. Just putting that out there. Please, can you listen to teacher at school, Leela? Sam, get to work. Do something boring for the love of God. And Brenton, you don't actually have work for another day. So that's great. And Sila is out singing in the rain. We've been watching some old schooly movies and now you're wanting to go sing in the rain maybe oh gosh so much has happened this episode already too much too much has happened oh and the baby is awake ash let's meet little surin <gasps> oh my gosh <laughs> too much now pluto has just died is the grim still here i literally think the grim never left Pluto just did his last poop in there and then fell to the floor and died. The good thing is I noticed Ash spending a bunch of time with Pluto today and doing little snugs and stuff. So that's really nice. But this episode, I can't. I literally can't. Too much. Far, far too much has just happened. And the Grim is like, oh, this is perfect. I love it when my shift's like a line like this and I can get two birds with one stone. No offense, Sag Sam. Sag Sam's like, don't worry about it. I'm still alive. However, Pluto has left the building, guys. Very very, very sad. Obviously, we loved little Pluto, but we will be making way for another pet. What should we do for the next pet? Let me know what you guys are thinking in the comments below. And the emotions in this house, I literally don't think they'll even be able to handle everything that's going on in this episode. Sims ain't built for this kind of emotion, guys. And I don't think I can plead for a pet. Yeah, I can't plead for a pet. Honestly, I would be kind of like pushing my luck because I already pleaded for one thing today. But that's it. The end of Pluto, guys. I'm so sorry. We love Pluto. Pluto was obviously absolutely adorable and wonderful. But that's it. Pluto is no more. I'm gonna go ahead and put the little ashes on here so we'll always remember them. And Pluto's gone. Poor baby Pluto. Oh, and I realized all of this is gonna be helping with my parenting skills. So that's good. What's your parenting skill currently at? Parenting's at level nine. <gasps> oh my gosh, I'm so close to maxing my parenting. I know there are things I've got to do for Grace. So that's great. Oh, and this is good. Look, Leela's reached level four of logic in school. I feel like you need logic school for the doctor's career so that is all fantastic. I do want her to make some friends at school as well though but I also kind of need the skill gains you know. Okay you're feeling tense fair enough why don't you try and make some friends. Let's see who you invite home from school oh no oh no okay and it's all happening again Celia's in for two immediately gone to go tell twin Brendan another baby's on the way this is just altogether great. Oh, and Brenton has been asked on a date. I don't know who you are, but why don't you guys go see a movie together? Who are you? Who are you? Our true Sates. How do you guys know each other? Were you at school together? I think they went to school together. Okay. Brenton, go get ready for your big date. Go freshen up in here and get yourself all psyched up. Maybe practice some flow. Exciting. And I guess Celia is gonna have to invite Dylan round. Tell him the big news. And then maybe those two will move out? I don't know. Maybe they will. It will mean that Leela gets a whole bedroom to herself and maybe we can do the dancing in here instead. And wow, so much happened this episode. So much happened. Celia did woo-woos with Dylan, is now pregnant. Good job. We gave birth to baby Surin. Sam died. Sam got brought back to life. Pluto died. And also beautiful, amazing friendo Trace has come over to meet the baby. That's so sweet. Ooh. Lila's made a new friend from school. Brenton has gone into the doctor career. Also been on a date with Arturo as well, who we may see see up in the next episode. And yeah, an awful lot has happened. So I will age up Surin in the next 
episode. So we'll see what they look like as a toddler. Also, I kind of feel like maybe Celia and Dylan may move out and start a life on their own. Dylan, who's still a teenager, really? Oh, he ages up today. It's fine. Don't worry. And yeah, let me know what you guys thought of today's episode. If you enjoyed it, a lot happened. Please don't forget to smash that like button. And also, I want to hear your suggestions for, I was going to say for Celia's career, but if she's moving out, is it as important? I don't know. And I'll see you guys in another episode. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!